All right, I have gotten in a lot of questions on Instagram, Facebook about what to do with these exercise calories, Heather. And today we're gonna dive into how to think about exercise, how to decide what you're gonna do as far as your calorie allotment. Um, and just wanna really quick say, if you are watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe for a little bit of weight loss sanity in an otherwise crazy dieting world. Uh, you and I are on a mission to spread this message as far as we can, so that way people stop getting caught in that diet yo-yo cycle and perpetually gaining weight. <laughs> um, we're trying to help them come up with sane solutions to this. Now, exercise. If you were to tell me or ask me, Heather, since you started your journey in 2006, what is the number one area you've probably changed your opinions and thoughts the most? It's exercise. Um, at first, starting with food was very difficult for me. Uh, so exercise felt good it felt doable walking things like that um, but for my perception of exercise now is that it's not something we want to hang our weight loss hat on we really don't and there's so many reasons why uh, one your body adapts over time to the exercise you do so for example if you're a runner and you're out running a mile every day uh, what will happen is if you are burning, let's just say 200 calories on the first week, over the course of weeks, maybe 10, 15, 20 weeks, your body adjusts, it becomes more efficient um, at doing the exercise and it burns less calories. So relying on your exercise calories, eating them back, putting them in your budget, all these kinds of things, knowing full well that they're not going to stay consistent makes really no sense to me. What I encourage people to do, and I have a teaching toolkit called Master Your Calories, is teaching you how to use your body for biofeedback in order to figure out the appropriate amount of calories. So in a nutshell, what we want to do is not add back in exercise calories. We want to do the exercise we love because we love doing it, whether it's going for a nightly walk with your dog, whether it's doing a HIIT training class at your gym. Do exercise because you want to do exercise. You enjoy how it makes you feel, um, how it makes your body look, but not because you're trying to get an extra 500 calories because that brings up the other issue. Uh, these devices, machines, and predictions on how much you're burning doing any one exercise is really inaccurate. So if we know our body adjusts to our exercise over time, the longer we do it, and if we know that the devices we're relying on to tell us you're burning two, three, 400 calories doing this activity are probably big time wrong, then why would we base our weight loss or weight maintenance journey on them? It's not a good idea. So what we want to think about is our TDEE. I've shared this in various videos. It's all through the Half Size Me uh, community uh, forums if you guys want to search if you're a member. Um, total daily energy expenditure. That is the kit and caboodle of what it is you burn in a day. From doing a load of laundry to your BMR to running around and chasing your kids in the yard to going for an hour long walk with your dog. It's everything, it's all together, okay? So you live your normal life, you do your normal things, and there is a number of calories you burn every day. It's BMR plus general activity, plus anything from an, a workout. And what I encourage people to do is not segment out any piece of that, but to say, okay, I'm gonna check three online calculators and maybe even use my activity tracker is one of those numbers. And I'm gonna to average together three different calculations. So I go to this one calculator, this one calculator, this one calculator. I put in my age, I put in my weight, and then I put in to find my maintenance calories. That is a, a estimation. I would take three of those numbers, add them up, divide by three. So let's just say you are a female and you average out 2,200 is maintenance. If you eat at 2200 and you maintain your weight and you've been exercising, your exercise calories are figured into that number. Do you see what I'm saying? You don't need to add back in 
whatever it is you're burning on the elliptical, whatever you're burning on the treadmill. If your maintenance calories at, came back at 2200 and your weight is maintaining at 2200, that means that your active lifestyle, whatever you're doing, supports you eating 2200 to maintain your current body weight. Now, if you want to lose weight, you would take a certain percentage off of that, 10, 20, or 15% of those calories off. Eat it that for a couple weeks. Do you see your weight going down? See, and it's much simpler. You've got basically two numbers. You have your maintenance at your activity, like the whatever activity you are currently doing, and then you have a weight loss number. But you don't have to make this more complicated by seeing on the elliptical, oh, I burned 300 calories. What do I do with that number? You don't have to do anything. Your TDEE includes your activity and is actually accurate <laughs> because that machine is not going to give you an accurate number. But let's just say you ate at 2200 and your body weight is being maintained. Whatever you actually burned on the elliptical is figured into that. You don't have to calculate it. You don't have to add it back in. Your body keeps tabs. That's what's really awesome. Your body knows. And then as you continue on your journey, if you start to continue to do the same exercise, you're still eating the same amount, but now you're starting to gain weight. What that might indicate, right? Remember what we talked about at the very beginning of this video, your body adjusts to your exercise. So maybe you're eating a little bit more than your body's burning. So you may want to dial back the food a little bit if you're now eating at 2200 you're still the same body weight and your body is adjusting to the exercise you might need to scale it back a little because your body will adjust to your exercise level so i just want to throw all of those ideas out there simple answer i don't add back in exercise i don't encourage my clients to sync up their activity tracker to their my fitness pal I truly treat that as like, okay, great. They're doing it for health purposes. They're doing it because they love it. They are not doing it for a calorie bonus because eventually that calorie bonus won't matter. And again, it's figured into the maintenance calories. So when you go to take a deficit off the maintenance calories, it's still included. So if somebody can maintain it 2,200, they drop down to 1,800, right? and they keep the consistent activity lifestyle, the walking, the running, the yoga, whatever it is they're doing, that exercise is in that equation. You just don't see it as a separate component. It's all included in the number. I hope this helps.